Genesis chapter 9, verses 1 through 29. And God pronounced a blessing upon Noah and his sons, and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of the terror of you shall be upon every beast of the land, every bird of the air, and all creeping creeps upon the ground, upon all the fish of the sea they had delivered into your hands. Every moving thing that lives shall be food for you. And as I gave you the green vegetables and plants, I give you everything. But you shall not eat flesh with the, with the life of it, which is the, its blood. And surely for your life, t life blood, I require you in accounting for every beast, I will require it from man. From every man, I require a reckoning. Whoever sheds man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God he made man. And you will be fruitful and multiply, bringing forth abundantly on the earth and multiply it. Then God spoke to Noah and his sons with him, saying, Behold, I establish my covenant and pledge with you and with your descendants after you. And, and every living creature that is with you, whether the birds, the livestock, or the wild beasts of the earth, along with you, as many as came out of the ark, every animal of the earth, I will establish my covenant and pledge to you. Never again shall all flesh be cut off by waters of a flood. Neither shall they ever again be a flood destroying the earth and make it <coughs> corrupt. And God said, This is a token and covenant, some pledge which I make appear in me and you and every living creature that is with you for our generation. I set my bowl, my rainbow, in the clouds, and it shall be token or a sign of a covenant a solemn pledge between me and the earth. It shall be that when I bring clouds all over the earth, and the bow of rainbow is, is, is seen in the clouds, I will earnestly remember my covenant and solemn pledge, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh, and, and the waters will be no more becoming a flood destroy and make all flesh corrupt. When the bow is in the cloud, the rainbow is in the cloud, I shall look upon it. I would earnestly remember an everlasting covenant between God and every the creature. Flesh that is upon the earth. And God said to Noah, this rainbow is a token and sign of covenant. Solemn pledge which I establish between me and all the flesh upon the earth. The sons of Noah who went into the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Ham was the father of the Canaanites. Born later. These are the sons of Noah, and from them the whole earth was overspread and stock with inhabitants. Noah be began to cult cultivate the ground, and he planted a vineyard, and he drank of the wine because, and became drunk, he and he, he, and he was uncovered and laid naked in his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaanites, glanced at and saw his nakedness of his father and told his two brothers outside. So Shem and Japheth took a garment laid upon the shoulders of both, and went backwards, covered the nakedness of their father, and the, their face went backwards. They had not seen his father's nakedness. When his father, when Noah woke up from his wine, he knew the things which the youngest son had done to him. He explained, Curse be Cana, he shall be the servant of his of servants to his brother, brethren. He also said, 
Blessed be the Lord, the God of Shem. Blessed to blessed by the Lord, my God, be Shem. And let the Canaanites be his servants. May God enlarge Japheth. And let him dwell in the tent of Shem. And let the Canaanites be his servants. And Noah lived at the flood 350 years. All the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. You know, Noah was a great man, but even he, him, even he, he could make, make bad choices. No matter how great we are, we still can make bad choices. But God is a forgiving God and loves us no matter what. He, you know, we want to tr do what he, he wants, not what the world wants. I don't know about you, but I constantly want to do what God wants me to do. And I kind of, you know, and I can only do that through Christ who gives me strength. So I just want to lift up his name and praise him. And I don't know what tomorrow holds or how I want to make it, but God knows. And he will always take care of me. And he will take care of you too. So keep lifting up God and trusting him. Keep praying for our, com our country and our president and everybody else. And thanks for, for listening. Thank you and have a blessed day.